Durham, North Carolina's online community paper, and I also host TV Skywriter that's live on YouTube. I'll tell you how you can be a guest right after I make these quick announcements. With Bull City Notes, I tell you what's happening today in the Bull City, Durham, NC. Now, there's an awful lot of things happening today. So for details, definitely go to that wireless connection. Okay, um, okay, it's back on. Okay, so I definitely recommend that you go to DurhamSkywriter.com for the details. You can go to the Let's Go page. That's the calendar of events page. So you scroll down or click on Let's Go. And let me show you my shirt real quick. Run DNC, DNC for Durham, North Carolina. New shirt for my t-shirt line. And of course, the logo of the Durham Skywriter on the bottom. If, you, if you'd like to get one, just let me know. Okay, let's get started. I'm glancing over here at my computer. I'm trying to actually perch my cell phone on my computer so it's probably a little crooked but that's okay um i don't try to be slick or hollywood so i'm not even worried about that so if i'm glancing over to the left um that's why or the right depending on what angle so uh, we are entering the second hour of the farmers markets that means actually the third hour um the Durham Farmers Market is in Durham Central Park. Um, they are open from 8 until noon every Saturday, okay? And all the farmers markets, pretty much everything is local um, or close by. You can get your, your typical and also atypical uh, fruits and vegetables. You can also get um, really interesting um, items like tomatillos. I never heard of those before I moved here. And they're like Mexican tomato type fruits or vegetables. Anyway, they have a nutty taste and they're really delicious. You can also get um, free range meats. You can order them. You can also get free range eggs. And it might be a little late for plant starts, but you can get flowers and uh, pastries, etc., etc. So the Durham Farmer's Market, again, they close at noon. And right next to the Durham Farmer's Market in Durham Central Park, just to the north, is the Durham Craft Market. They're also open 8 until noon, and they have all kinds of beautiful artwork that you can purchase and also um, so-called, you know, useful items. I mean, art is art, but some art is also to be used in the household, so you can definitely check that out. Alrighty, the South Drum Farmers Market, they're also open from 8 until noon. They are in the Greenwood Commons Shopping Center, and that's at Highway 55 and Sedwick. Again, they're open until noon. Also, let me try to scroll down here. Don't forget the Durham Roots Farmers Market. They're at Northgate Mall, outdoors. Really nice. Um, same, <clears throat> excuse me, same hours, 8 until noon. Okay, we scroll down here. Let's see, it's too late to mention the yoga, but I will mention, I'm usually too late to mention this, but just so that you know this, from, let's see, nine until 10, usually in Durham Central Park, there's yoga in the park, it's free. They do advise that you wear loose fitting clothing, take some bottled water and have a little yoga mat or towel to sit on. Um, again, there's yoga in the park, usually from nine until 10, Sorry, I missed it. Um, like I said, usually I'm too late to mention that. I wanted to mention that now. Okay, now Durham for All, that's a, uh, an activist group, um, uh, also known as Durham Para Todos. They're going to kick off their 10K Strong Activist Canvas campaign today from 11 until 2. They're going to meet in Oval Park. That's at 2100 West Club Boulevard. Um, they're a, di uh, a diverse, progressive political action group. Basically, they want to talk about the upcoming elections. They want to help get out the voters and register people to vote, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and they operate in, in English and Spanish. Really cool group. Uh, very, very, like I said, very progressive. So again, they will be meeting from 11 until 2 in Oval Park this afternoon. So if you want to help out, or at least learn more about them, uh, stop by and, and meet them at least and talk with them and see if you're a good match. All right. Um, now, I didn't get an answer. I, I asked the folks who put on the community kickball game if they'll be doing that today. Um, 
but I will tell you, you can just drive by and see if they're there. It, it won't hurt. Usually there is a kickball game and it's really fun. It's in Hillside Park behind W.D. Hill, um, 1300 South Roxboro, usually from noon until two. The only reason that I was questioning whether they were going to do it was because I don't remember seeing an updated listing on Facebook. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to drive by there and see if they're there. And if they are there, then jump in and have fun. It's really fun. They want us to get out and move around and, and not sit all day in front of the computer like I often do. Okay. Um, the next patchwork market, that's today, it's once a month, and it is held at Full Steam Brewery uh, from noon until 4, usually the first Saturday of the month, so that's today. Um, basically, these are artisans. You can buy small batch and one-of-a-kind items by local craft persons, and it's really fun. You just stop by. It's free admission, of course. You just stop by and see what they have. Something different every month. Okay. Now, as you might know, um, the beloved activist um, Umar Muhammad um, died and his uh, memorial service is today. But first, I wanted to mention that the Curve Assassins Motorcycle Club, they're organizing a charity ride. As you know, um, Umar Muhammad had just had a, um, just had a, a baby and um, I think his child is at least, what, two months old, I believe. So uh, they need your help. So if you can join the um, the charity ride, that would be awesome. They're asking for no donations of $10. You don't have to have a motorcycle. You can go in your vehicle. So everybody's going to meet up at the Harbor Freight parking lot. That's on Avondale. Um, right there by, I think Big Lots is over there. Pretty sure. But anyway, it's on Avondale. So basically, they're going to line up at 1.30. And again, $10 donations are, are requested. Um, the procession will begin at 2 o'clock. It's going to take a while to line everybody up, of course. Um, again, you can um, ride on your motorcycle or drive in your, your car or van or station wagon, whatever you have. Okay, um, and the procession will last probably about an hour. And I'm pretty sure it's going to meet up at the Haytai Heritage Center because that's where the memorial service will be. So the Haytai Heritage Center is at Fayetteville and Lakewood Streets. Um, the memorial will start at 3 o'clock. It is co-hosted by, uh, uh, let's see, All of Us or None of Us, NC, um, Forward Justice, and Spirit House, Inc. So, again, that's going to be from 3 until 6. It's going to be a very big deal with lots of uh, um, uh, speeches and uh, remembrances and such. So, again, from 3 until 6. The memorial service for Umar Muhammad is going to be at the Haytai Heritage Center. Okay, now later tonight, there's going to be a celebration of life service. Not service, um, get together, I guess is the best word to use. At the Emerald City Ultra Bar and Lounge. That's at 2000 Chapel Hill Road. That's the same complex that the Scrap Exchange is in. So um, some people say 2000 Chapel Hill Road. Um, again, Emerald City Ultra Bar and lounge uh, from 10 until 2, 2 in the morning, yes, okay. Alrighty, um, also if you can't make any of those because you're super busy today, um, there is an Umar Muhammad Memorial Fund. Um, the link is on the Let's Go page. A description of everything that I'm reading to you is actually on the Let's Go page of the Drum Sky Rider. You can also contribute um, by clicking on the link and doing so. Alrighty, appreciate that. Um, two o'clock today, there's going to be a chess club meeting and um, not just a meeting, they're going to play at the North Regional Library. All ages, all skill levels are welcome. All right. And tonight from six until eight, if you love music and you love Latin jazz like I do, you'll want to check out Jazziando. They will play at that's Drum Parks and Recreation's Rock the Park Concert Series. Free concert, like I said, Latin jazz band, Jaziando, uh, from 6 until 8 in Southern Boundaries Park. That's 100 Third Fork Road. Not too hard to find. It, it is off of Martin Luther King Parkway. Um, just Google it. You'll probably be able to find it pretty easily. Okay, and of course, it's free. Don't forget your lawn chairs and or your blankets. 
Also this evening from 6 until 8.15 in Durham Central Park will be a documentary showing of Inside the Garbage of the World. And it's all about pollution and how the effects of pollution uh, really mess up the, well, not just the land, but the oceans as well. They want you to learn how um, wasteful single-use plastic is. So again, um, Inside the Garbage of the World, it will be aired in Durham Central Park. Of course, you'll need your lawn chair and or blanket. Um, the Lost Boys food truck will be there as well. Um, you can bring a snack or get something from the Lost Boys. 10% of their sales, however, I must say, will be donated to Keep Durham Beautiful. So it might be a, a good deal to get something from Lost Boys. Alrighty. Also tonight, there's so much happening today, this is unbelievable. The Triangle Gay Men's Chorus will be holding a meet and greet called Meet the Chorus from 7 until 9 this evening at um, Calvary United Methodist Church. That's on Trinity. And you can meet the new artistic director, talk about music, and join in and sing. Sing a little tonight. All righty. Also tonight, starting at 7 o'clock, a free music concert. Musical humorist Brian Barber will be giving a free concert at the Sacred Grounds Coffee House. That is the Christian music venue. It's on Roxborough, North Roxborough Road. Um, donations will, will be accepted, of course, but the concert is free. All right, now let me go to another page. Oh, this is happening tomorrow. Let me tell you, the Bahama Farmer's Market, that is usually the first Sunday. So tomorrow from noon until 3 at the Bahama, bah, Bahama, come on, I know better, Bahama Ruritan Club on Stagville Road. They will have fresh fruits and vegetables again from noon until 3 tomorrow. Bahama Farmer's Market. Okay, now let's go up. I can't go to the next page because something else is happening tomorrow. Okay, from 2 until 4.30, the Reader's Party. They have moved to the Haytai Heritage Center. The Reader's Party is super fun. Basically, you're celebr celebrating the art of the spoken word. So kids and adults are welcome. It's a free event. You choose a poem or speech or essay to read out loud. Family friendly only, of course. And it's, it's really nice. It, it's really fun to see kids up there reciting poetry. It's really great. Um, of course, they will have refreshments, and it's a very, very nice event. It's called the Reader's Party. Haytai Heritage Center, 2 until 4.30 tomorrow. It's free. Okay, one more thing for tomorrow. The Triangle Blues Society, their first Sunday Triangle Blues Jam will be held at the Blue Note from 6.30 until 9.30, and that's tomorrow. Now let's go to the next page. I'm going to the praise page now. Let's see what's on the praise page. Oh, right, right. The um, Guest Road Baptist Church, they're holding their Hope Fest. That is today from 10 until 3, so it's going on right now until 3 on the church grounds on Guest Road. Um, they're going to have games and fun activities for all ages. Also, they'll be passing out information on local resources. So again, uh, free admission, of course, um, Guest Road Baptist Church um, until 3. It's called Hope Fest. All right. Now I'm going to the sports page. It's happening in sport. Oh, yeah, right. On guard. You can um, get some basic uh, swashbuckling moves today um, from noon until 1. This is a free event. It's being held um, at the Mid-South Fencers Club. It's near downtown on Gregson. And it's called the Olympic Fencing Introduction. That's the formal name. You can sort of get a, an introduction to fencing. And that's with the pointy swords and the masks. You've seen it on TV and in the movies. So if you take a liking to it, maybe you'll want to take a class. And try it out. Um, you know, uh, no pressure from noon until 1 at the Mid-South Fencers Club. Check it out. All righty. In the last page, I'm going to... The Great Outdoors, and you get to the Great Outdoors page by going to the sports page, and then you click on the big green button, Great Outdoors. So let's see what's happening today. Okay, there's a special program, Native Americans of the Eno, starting at noon. This is at, River, uh, I'm sorry, Eno River State Park. Basically, you can learn about the lives of the um, Native Americans who used to live um, along the Eno River and how they lived with nature and didn't try to destroy it or conquer it. They learned how to work with it. So learn about that 
um, starting at noon today, Eno River State Park. Let's see what else is happening. Um, there's a program called Rivers Rock where you join a hike with a naturalist and learn about the histories of the various types of rock in the park and in the area, including volcanic rock. Did you know there's volcanic rock in this area? So um, be sure to wear your hiking boots, your hiking shoes. Everybody's gonna meet on the at the Piper Cox House porch. Again, that's 2.30, it's called Rivers Rock. Okay, now this is tomorrow morning, nine o'clock, and it's called Build a Boat. Not a real boat that you can, that you can ride in uh, or, or ride or fit in. This is a toy build a boat. Basically, you make a small boat out of recycled materials, okay, and then you race it um, with the other folks making boats. This should be really, really lots of fun. And it's called Build a Boat. It's tomorrow, Eno River State Park, 9 o'clock. If 9 o'clock is too early, that's okay. They'll be doing it again at 1 in the afternoon tomorrow. Okay, and, and they do say that um, wear close-toed shoes and clothes that you don't mind getting wet. Okay. Also tomorrow at 4 o'clock is a special program in Eno River State Park called Invasive Species. You can find out what happens when a new species of plant or animal invades a delicately balanced ecosystem. That should be really interesting. And that starts at 4 o'clock in Eno River State Park. I think that is it. Let me scroll down here. Ah, tomorrow in Falls Lake State Recreation Area, it's going to be a family hike called Moonrise Stroll from 7 until 8.30. That's tomorrow night, and that should be really nice. I suggest if you have little kids, you might want to take a little uh, solar light um, in case they're, they get scared. I don't think it's really dark at 8.30, though. But anyway, it's called the Moonrise Stroll. It's at Falls Lake State Recreation Area, and it's an easy one-and-a-half-mile hike and let's see um false lake with a oh seven until eight thirty and it is a hike and see event all right let me see if there's any others i think that's pretty much it next week is the uh sky watching session i've got to make one of those morehead planetarium has the, that every month i've got to go I love the skies and stars and all that sort of thing. So that is pretty much it. Let me give you the weather report. I can feel this humid, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous out. It's like 79 right now. It's going up to 86. It's got to be 80 something by now, but it's going up to 86. It's going to be sunny. Tomorrow it's going to be pretty much the same. I think it's going to be partly sunny tomorrow, but it's really gorgeous out and there's so much happening. You've got to go out and enjoy this beautiful weather while it lasts. Before you know it, you know it's going to be fall. All right, contact me on Twitter at Durham Sky Rider if you have information for the Durham Sky Rider. Um, the August issue is out. You can send me information for August and also early September. Also, it's not too late to advertise because, after all, um, this issue covers the first week of September. So if you advertise now, you'll still get a full month, a full month's worth of advertising. Also, if you want to be interviewed on TV, Skywriter, let me know. Contact me on Twitter, at Durham Skywriter. I interview people in Durham and throughout the world. I've interviewed people in Kenya, Brazil, England, Canada. So if you've written a book or you want to be interviewed for another reason, just let me know. Um, let's see. I, I won't have a show tomorrow because I had two shows this past week. On Sunday, I interviewed Alfredo Tigolo about live streaming church services. And then on, um, what was that, Tuesday, I think it was, I interviewed Chris Keller, jazz pianist, and she played a couple of original tunes for us. That was really nice. So they're both on YouTube, so be sure to check that out. Also, realize when you're on TV Skywriter, you can repurpose that interview. You can put it on your YouTube channel. You can put it on your website. You can send it out. You can edit it and use it as, as a promotion. Just letting you know, contact me on Twitter at Durham Skywriter, and I'd love to have you on my show. All righty, let's see. I told you the weather report. So share this out so the more people here in Durham can find out what's happening today and tomorrow in the Bull City, and be sure to read Durham, North Carolina's online community paper, The Durham Skywriter, at durhamskywriter.com. With that, enjoy this gorgeous day, and I will see you Monday. Ciao for now.
Oh, and here's the shirt. Woohoo! See you later.